Tonight, neighbors breathing a sigh of relief after hearing the suspected Stockton serial killer has been arrested. Does it make you feel a little more at ease at home? I'm at ease, yeah, I'm at ease. Yes, I am, because I wasn't going out by myself. 43-year-old Wesley Brownlee is booked on suspicion of at least one murder and assorted weapons offenses in the San Joaquin County Jail, held without bail. When taken into custody, police said he was wearing dark clothing, a mask around his neck, and was carrying a gun. Law enforcement says the suspect's pattern of praying started in his car before he stalked his victims on foot. Police followed this exact path. They arrested him right here at 2 a.m. on Saturday. They said he was on a mission to kill, just blocks from where some of the attacks took place. He was out hunting. We are sure we stopped another killing. According to public records, Brownlee has a criminal history across California and Arizona, connected to past drug and traffic violations and a DUI. Most of the victims were Latino men, several of them homeless. But officials say there's no evidence the killings were race-based or targeted. I was here at work and got a call from my nephew. He told me that Paul had been shot uh, multiple times and that he died in the hospital. Greta Bogro is the mother of Paul Alexander Yaw, who was killed in July. Does this bring any closure for you? Um, yes and no. I'm just grateful that it, they were able to save it from happening to another person and another family. Having to go through what we've gone through, it's just been horrific. Police today examining ballistic evidence from this 9mm handgun found in the suspect's car. You don't come to our house and bring this kind of reign of terror. The district attorney promising to bring justice for victims' families who are aching for accountability. And Maura joins us now from Stockton. Have police indicated any motive, Maura? That's still unclear. The DA's office telling me there's still no official decision on charges yet either, though that ballistic evidence will help determine that. They tell me they expect to get that report back before the suspect is arraigned on Tuesday. Kate? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.